Hello guys and have you seen never used battles very close and enjoyable if you have not seen them in a long time I present you this type of battle right off the start Mega Glalie is not never used anymore but it was at the time and it did not do that much work anyway so uh, I start with my Rotom and my opponent will go to my spirit. His my spirit is choice card, uh, apparently, because my Rotom is choice packs. He gets a crit, but that's not really uh, important. And he decides to go to his Ludicolo. Uh, as I have said, my Rotom is choice packs, and by that damage, I believe that it did not do much, so. I believe he is Assault West, or Special Defensive. I did not see Leftovers Recovery, so it is indeed Assault West. And uh, he will go to his Quillfish, great play, because Intimidate Quillfish, especially with Max HP Defense, is extremely hard to defeat. I predict that. And I mean the Wolf and will go for the... No, I don't predict, predict that this time. But Double Edge still does a solid amount after Intimidate. And my thoughts right now is either to go for the Earthquake or predict that he will be spiking. And because I don't want a lot of hazards on my side, I will go to my Rotom and I will go for the Volt Switch, predicting both his Switch out and if he decides to stay on the battlefield uh, it will defeat his Rotom or, uh, ro not Rotom, Quillfish easily defeat but he decides to go, go to his Logicoil one more time and I will go to my Glalie but now uh, if I mispredict go for the Earthquake it will do nothing to his Logicoil but if he decides to go back to his Quillfish it will do much more than Double HG did so I decide to risk it, to predict that switch and go for the Earthquake and I believe it will do like 30-40% and it actually does the half. So right now, if I'm lucky enough, I will be able to take out his Quillfish and let's see. So hell goes down and sadly uh, my Glalie gets paralyzed and his Quillfish may add the Waterfall trying to paraflitch me or if he has explosion, explode on me, or set up one layer of spikes. But my opponent decides to get uh, to do a great play, point split, but <laughs> predicting either he switch out or destiny bond, I just explode in his face. And I like explosion really much, that play is awesome, so I explode in his face, get a useless crit. Well, explosion, of course, from refrigerated Mega Glady will be enough. I go to my Mr. Drivers, and he goes to his My Sprit. Um, even if he has like Zen Headbutt, I can take those easily because I am bold max HP defense with Evil Light. He decides to U-turn away to his Hariyama. And I was thinking, either he is uh, Guts or Thick Fat Assault West, and Thick Fat Assault West is the most popular set right now. And that's why I decided to burn him. And look, Knockoff comes in and annihilates my Misdrivers. I know crit, you saw the critical hit, but if he was really burned, if he was Thick Fat, even crit would not have taken out my Misdrivers. But Guts, even without the crit, would have annihilated my uh, Misdrivers, like it did. So I go to my Banana Zor, will go for the fly, stall out his burn damage, and now I can take him out, and he goes to his most threatening Pokemon. It was the first time I faced Mega Audino in the battle, and I was, and I heard from my friends, Mega Audino is pain to take out, and I'm grateful that I had Mega, uh, Mega, I had Tropius, because 
It is really bulk in my side, I know that I can take some hits. I will go for the Dragon Dance and I will try to scout his moveset. He goes for the Calm Mind and yep, this is the most threatening, Im nearly impossible to defeat Audino side, Mega Audino. So, even with my plus 2 Dragon Dance, uh, you will see that with max HP defense bold nature, Audino takes hit like a champion. So, right now I have plus 2 attack and speed and my opponent has plus 2 special attack and special defense. I will go for the leaf blade, it is plus 2 remember guys, and look how much it does. <laughs> how little it does. And he has draining kiss and I, I thought oh my god and he gets a critical hit again and if he has hyper voice I am already fearing that it will take me out, so I thought maybe he has one move draining his wish uh, protect but calm mind, but he has hyper voice and I thought banana zor please and he actually stood up for me hang on with, ni uh, with 9 HP and I will go for the rest and now hyper voice is not a 2 hit kill anymore my lambery take me up uh, and then in case he recovers HP again and he is at plus 2 special attack, special defense and max HP. That's really uh, like I fear this so much with this mega audio right now. But my leaf blade creates banana zor decides to uh, like protect my team, my pride and he goes for the calm mind again and now hyper voice will be enough to take me out. If my new blade does not crit, and sadly it does not crit, but he was for the draining kiss, and now I will be able to take out his Audino after leaf blade. I believe it should do it, and let's see. I don't remember. And leaf blade luckily does take out his mega Audino. You have seen how threatening it is, and it is not even suspected in any. And I was struggling with plus three attack Tropius. Yeah, I remember. So I go for the fly and I hope Typhlosion without HP investment cannot take fly but even with plus 3 attack Tropius fails to take out his Typhlosion and yeah my Tropius finally goes down but man I am so grateful to him. He took out Mega Audino and after life orb he took out his Typhlosion. He goes to his Mesprit, I go to my Jelly time. It is calm nature but max HP and defense and he goes for the Zen head but let's see if it is 2 hit kill and luckily, uh, luckily unfortunately it is a 2 hit kill but I hang on and knock off, knocks off his choice scarf so my uh, Rotom can now go to his shadow ball and defeat him if the situation will be like Rotom versus my split. My pawn goes for the U-turn and I will have the switch advantage and he lost to his Ludicolo but <laughs> now even with switch advantage I don't have much things to hit him with I have Assault West Lapras with Freeze Dry which is 4x effective and will take Ludicolo with one, with one shot and he decides to sack off his Mesprit and you think wait a minute he has like 40%, 30%, why decide, he decides to suck it off, he goes for the healing wish. And remember that burn Hariyama with less than 50% of HP. He did a great play, he decided to uh, heal up his Hariyama. No, he actually had like 55% of HP, but he decides to suck his Hariyama, not uh, suck his Mesprit to heal his Hariyama. But now I predict he'll predict my switch out to Rotom to absorb his fighting type move and I stay in because of that and go for the surf and after two surfs my choice specs Thunderbolt will be enough to take him out. So he now annihilates my Lapras with his close combat and my last Pokemon is my Rotom. He has a minus one defense special defense Hariyama and Ludicolo and I know I can take Hariyama with the amount of HP and special defense drop he is at 
and I am hoping Thunderbolt, Choice Specs Thunderbolt will be enough to take out his Ludicolo. If I take him out, it is my game. So it is we have last Pokemon on the battlefield. If I can take him out with two Thunderbolts, it is my game, but otherwise it is his. So uh, from this damage, it looks like Thunderbolt would be a two hit kill. He goes for the Scout, burns me, but I hope I can take a burn. Yes, I take burn. And right now, is it enough? Is my second Thunderbolt enough? And I paralyzed him, but that was not what I wanted. And yeah, he goes for the Scout, and that was an extremely amazing, super enjoyable battle. Like, easily one of my most enjoyable battles ever. I think you will think the same, but that much, that was amazing. Thank you for watching, guys. It was enjoyment to narrate it, to watch it again, <laughs> and this was Flaming Axel. Get it memorized.